We also had an election today in West Michigan. Voters got to decide which of these Republicans would face off against a Democratic candidate for the 74th State House District seat in Kent County. The Democrat is running unopposed. Political reporter Rick Alvin live with us in studio tonight to break down the numbers in this race, Rick. It didn't take long to count the 11,202 votes that were cast, about 15% of the eligible voters. That's not bad, considering it is an off-year election, that it's a special election that is happening on the 1st of March. Nobody's expected to vote then. So there were a lot of folks who got their votes, and I suspect that the absentee ballots will account for a lot of that. Take a quick look at what the results were, and it was close. 81 votes separating Robert Regan with 2404 over Stephen Gilbert, his nearest competitor at 23-23. You see the other votes coming in there. Just a short time ago, uh, we talked with candidate Regan about this victory. He had told me earlier in our coverage that he had almost decided not to run, that he had run before, wasn't going to run again, but he got some advice from friends and others. I had some really uh, close friends that they persevered, say, this is something that you need to do. And uh, when I was uncertain about whether I should go forward with this or not, they were the ones that stood by and said, no, we need you in Lansing. You're the man for the job. This is the time. And um, I just feel very humbled to be here right now. So on May 3rd, there'll be one last race in the 74th district. Then it gets obliterated, turned into four different districts. The 84th, which will be down here, is where I believe both Regan and his Democratic candidate will uh, be residing once the districts are redrawn. That's important because if they want to run for the new districts in August for that primary, they will have to file before their general on May 3rd. And here's what's going to happen next. It is that general election on May 3rd, and that's where Carol Glanville will uh, shape up against uh, Robert Regan and then that August 2nd primary but the filing deadline for this primary is April 19th so before this election happens they have to file and then we move on to the general election and we'll keep a track of this I know so it's a little confusing but we'll keep people updated right it does get a little confusing close race tonight absolutely and yeah. we saw that in uh, the last primary for that special Senate district as well yeah okay Rick thanks for joining us tonight